हाई फ्रेंड्स हैप्पी नवरात्रे हैप्पी गांधी जयंती एंड हैप्पी बर्थडे टू यू ऑल फॉर शास्त्री जी ये गाइज जनरली वी जस्ट रिमेंबर गांधी जयंती but after watching one of the movies that was tashkent files now we come to know that the 2nd october is also shastri ji's birthday so let's not forget that so friends today's video is beautiful celebration and this is garba dance by united way and since we had no clue what this is I did some research before we go ahead and watch this video. So what I got to know was that in Gujarat they have this huge function, a uh, garba function, and you, I mean, a couple of months before they start selling the tickets, you buy your tickets for for this garba function, and then all these people they collect there and they celebrate it. So this one is from two thousand seventeen and two thousand nineteen has already started, guys. so it's going to be pretty similar to this but i found out while i was doing some research that this year they are not letting too many people enter so they are going to have limited people entry so for the security purposes and the other interesting fact i don't know if you guys know but i'm sure my husband would know another interesting fact that i found out was the ticket prices <laughs> now guys you will be amazed to see that hear that So when I looked at it, the ticket prices for boys was like three thousand five hundred to about four thousand something rupees, mm. and uh, depending upon you know what month you are uh, pay uh, getting your tickets, and this is all online. Mm. But the amazing part is that the tickets for the girl, the prices that they had written down was. Seven hundred to nine hundred rupees. So can you see the amount of difference between the prices? I don't know why the ticket prices for boys is so high, whereas for girls it's pretty cheap. So any clues? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Maybe they are looking at that. I mean, in US because we have been here for a long time. I mean, both the men and women are work and work. and their salaries are at par mm -hmm. but maybe one factor they are looking at is that maybe women are earn, earning less oh so maybe they are doing it or, or they maybe they are promoting girls to come and yeah, you know, participate or, right. or maybe they are thinking that if the women are not going to come then men are not going to come anyway <laughs> so maybe they are saying <laughs> make it cheaper for the women so that at least let them come And if they come, rest of the people will come anyway. Oh no! Now I got it. The reason they made women tickets cheaper was because women know how to do garba. So That if women don't come, if women are not there, <laughs> yeah. then, then the garba off. would be no. The garba would be incomplete, yeah, guys. Right. So let me know what you think, or if you are there in Gujarat, you probably would have the answer. We are just taking wild guesses. Yeah. So do share within the comment section as to why the ticket prices are. so different about uh, between yeah, boys and maybe girls maybe they know that maximum women are going to come so maybe they have made the tickets Discounted cheaper price? Discounted yeah, because price so many women are going to come so they are because they love dancing yeah. so they are like okay let the women come who are the main consumers the other people they have to pay more money to get that seat i don't think they'll be that business minded but who knows okay guys so do share what you think okay okay so let's go ahead and watch this uh, united way garba of 2017 wow he said wow so many people it's like wow so mega or something i mean yeah uh, just like Similar that too yeah the world's biggest navratri garba wow, wow. that was in baroda mm. this is amazing great. there are people who are sitting oh. can sit also around jai mata di when you looked at it it looked like the outside people can actually sit and watch that. them wow. who don't want to do this wow aarti they are playing they doing aarti yeah. oh wow they all have the phones out with the you know lights yes. on that's amazing wow, wow. that shank yeah. the sound of shank is beautiful <laughs> Oh. Oh my god, look at the dresses. It's wow. amazing. If you're looking at it there are maximum women. 
That is one more thing. I am just looking at their dresses. They are very beautiful dresses. They are wearing goggles. <laughs> it is nice. Wow. The dresses are amazing. They are, some of them are wearing... Proper Gujarati dress. Right. Wow, there was a sick guy, I think, speaking Gujarati. So you were oh, saying wow. that Arati, uh, before Arati, we are going to start with Garba, Garba first. These are probably some United Way employees or something, and the people who have done that. Oh, I love those two. Pagadis. Yeah. Traditional Gujarati clothes. Wow. Oh, he's hot. Really enjoy. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's dressed. He's got his beard and he's wearing goggles. <laughs> Amazing. They had India written on their shirts together. Every person had one letter. They are going in circles, but they have not made any lines. So imagine yeah. how nice they are. They know exactly how to go around the circle. I don't see any line, so they just know how to do it. Wow! Oh Amazing clothes. Oh and look at the steps. The way they're doing it. Oh All red, blue. Oh Oh, he's got an umbrella! Oh, umbrella for the Indian colors! Black colors! Wow! Wow! Oi, oi! Oh! Wow, that was some great thing! Great oh. on the Pagadi! Yeah, know. amazing! Traditional! Some of them look like professionals! Wow, yeah, professionals. Amazing. <laughs> Everybody is like happy, smiling. They are into their music. Oh, look, oh, look nice. at the kids. <laughs> Beautiful dancer. Everyone. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, look at this, you you feel like going there, but I will not because I don't know how to dance. Oh, yeah. oh he's an actor, I can't remember his name. He does really good comedy. Wow. Oh, yeah. This, you know, the way they're showing it's beautiful. Ah, they've got India's flag. Why singing? Yeah, there's live. live singing and they're dancing on it. Wow. By Bhagwan's piece. Mata Bhani's most beautiful. There you are. She had those uh, Matkis. Matkis. Armed forces. Wow. There you are. Yeah, okay. Oh, we love Gujarat. Wow. Wow, we have national anthem too. Amazing. Beautiful. Are you? <laughs> Proud of you? Very nice. You are singing nicely. Oh, there are other programs also. Looks like a lot of things happen. Oh, wow. <laughs> there are some other fast based music, maybe. Wow. Wow. 
foto. Oh. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. He said, "Thank you, beta." Oh. Ooh, this is beautiful in the night nice. with yeah. all their phones on. Wow, yeah. this, this is looks amazing. like yeah. As I said, this is the biggest. And looking at this, you will say, "Yes, this is indeed the biggest." Oh my! God. I have never seen it. I mean, I have not seen yeah. such a huge crowd in yeah. any festivities. all my life that i have been in india i mean this is just amazing and the very concept that they've now had it that they'll do it all together in one place this is just beautiful so everyone from around the area can come and enjoy the celebrations together and guys the dresses the traditional dresses that they've been wearing oh my god this is so so beautiful i mean nowhere in the world i keep saying can you find yeah. such Beautiful dresses, colorful. both yeah, colorful. Not just colorful. I mean, look at the mirror work, the embroidery, the thread work, and it's just it's and the way you know when they uh, you know make circles, they spin the the dresses, the ghagras, and even the boys' jackets. They I mean they make circles, they float around so beautifully. So amazing dresses. I mean, I was just you know I couldn't take my eyes off the beautiful dresses, and I miss that here. So this really makes me wish to be there in India, especially during this, you know, this uh, festival season. We were mostly we were brought up in Delhi, so Delhi does not have, at least in our time, did not have such large, you know, garba or even dandiya. So yeah. it was not so uh, commonly done. It's more but, done in Gujarat. Right. Yeah, but when I went to not really, I mean, when I went to Maharashtra. Dandiya oh. was very popular. Oh, okay. So in every you know community, there'll be some dandiya going on. And obviously, since I did not know how to do dandiya, I would just I watch know. and say yes. And my friends will say, "Come, we'll teach you." I said, "No, maybe next time." So <laughs> I never got the opportunity to learn dandiya and, and do this. But it was very nice and fun to see them oh, yeah. do that, and it was amazing. And even I mean. Over here, when you look at you know, they're all many of them are wearing traditional clothes. They're wearing the pagri also, yeah. everything. So they're fully you know engrossed into it. Everybody was happy, and they were dancing in a beautiful way. There were no circles on the ground. They yeah. are you know inherently they are going around. So amazing! I, I think uh, I have never seen such a big gathering, and it's very proud to see such a big gathering. They're very proud to see the national anthem being sung and people taking the Indian flag all over. So. Amazing! Uh, I mean, video. Yes, beautiful video. And the best part was there was so, such a huge crowd, guys. And they had circle, you know, a small circle inside, then a bigger one, and then a bigger one, and so on. And everyone was dancing in their circles. They were not just standing there; they were moving around there in their circles. And oh my God, the most amazing part was the steps that each one was doing. I mean, it was like it was. It is, you know, in their memory, permanent memory of. Exactly how, when to do it, and yeah. they were going yeah. all together. I mean, this was amazing. I don't know how they. I mean, do they practice or do they know it or yeah. you know themselves just by watching? I have no clue. But guys, it is tough. I mean, looking at it, we have tried. I have at least tried because I have a couple of my cousins who got married to Gujarati families, and uh, during the wedding function, they always had one you know occasion where they would have this uh, dandiya dance. And we were like, since being Punjabis, we all of from our side were like, we don't know how to do it. They were like, don't worry, we'll teach you. So they had one class, especially about for an hour or so, to just teach us how to do it. And guys, it was tough. And I was so scared with Dandia. <laughs> I was like, they are so perfect. What if I hit them on their hand or something? <laughs> so yeah, but it is. I mean, it looks easy, but it isn't. It's really tough. Right. But amazing. And then you know, I had this uh, question. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I would like to say over there, it depends upon uh, you know what kind of uh, <coughs> a dance or music you are used to. If somebody yeah. says tells to me. Bhangra is difficult. I'll say not really. I <laughs> mean, every yeah. wedding we have been doing Bhangra. What else we were doing when we were going, right? So not really. But a person who is un unfamiliar will say, "Man, Bhangra is tough." Similarly, I think when the kids over there in Gujarat have been playing around in Dandiya, they will say, "No, it is pretty easy." <laughs> no, but so, but so, Bhangra yes. is easy. You can you just need to do this finger and that's what I'm saying. Move you, your shoulder, but this is like with sticks. <laughs> that is what I mean. Because you have stayed 
because you are a punjabi and you have lived over there in every wedding you have done bhangra so it looks okay and it's cool man and you can do whatever you like in bhangra but that is the same way i think people okay. over there so but anyways i mean it depends upon the ability like my dancing ability is zero so even if i take a oh, huge yes. course on uh, on this i will not be able to do this in that time i'll say man i better learn karate and become a black belt instead of doing this and there are many institutes in the us that teach you traditional Uh, dance, Indian yeah, dance. Indian dance. There is especially you know, Bhangra and yeah. uh, Dandia. Bhangra, Dandia. Yeah. I mean, traditional sense, they'll also teach you uh, Bharat Natyam. They'll mm-hmm. teach you yeah. Kathak, and along with that, they will also teach you modern styles like Bhangra, Bollywood dances, and Bollywood dances. Also, they'll teach you. So there are schools over here that do that also, but they're not like in heavy demand. It's usually sponsored by mostly temples. You know, temple will say, "Okay, fine, yeah. you do a class over here, there." things like that or there are some dance schools but they really leverage on the temple people who come to the temple they put all the notices you can read and you can learn yeah. but but this was eye opening the amount of happiness and the amount of volume how they were doing it it was wow. just amazing it was just amazing i mean the way they danced and the huge crowd and it was so beautiful especially when they took the video from above yes. up, uh, from yes. the sky right. that showed the whole view and it was amazing and nowadays If you want to take a video like that, you just need to do a drone. Yeah. So that's what they used. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what yeah. they used. So that is what I mean. There was a time when it was so costly. I remember doing this. This was like two thousand seventeen. So right. they probably used a drone. Right. So at some point, you know, we wanted to do this, uh, and it was so costly because you need to get a helicopter or something over yeah. there. But now it's a piece of cake. Just get a drone up, and you can do it yourself. Yes. So technology has moved along. Yeah. And and I, but anyhow, I like the video. Whichever way they did it, yeah. It was Beautiful. fantastically Beautiful. made. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful video, but this year they are saying that they are going to let only few people enter mm. for this uh, Garba dance because of security reason. So if you are in Gujarat and you are attending, you are one of the lucky ones, guys. Let me say that to yeah. you. So okay, guys, we'll end this video now and wishing you all a happy Navratri and may Mata Rani bless you all. So Che Mata Di. Oh, and if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when I put in my new video for you to enjoy. Bye.